All right guys, so today I'm gonna take you along so you can see what it's like working with the dealership. All right, so about a week ago, I ended up working with this dealership. Uh, I work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And basically any cars that they get in that they need uh, detailed inside and out, I get it done and uh, I charge them 120 per car. So that's how it works with dealerships. I know the price is lower but the thing is, it's a lot of quantity, like a lot of uh, a lot of cars that you get to detail. So that's why the price is lower. And uh, with dealerships, you, that's probably the best price you're gonna get out of them inside and out. So uh, yeah, I just wanna show you guys so you can see what it's like working with the dealership, just in case you ever come across this, an opportunity arises to where you can work with the dealership. And uh, yeah, that way you guys know, if you're not sure, then you can see my video, see if you like it or not, and then go from there. But, um, yeah, let's get to it. Let me show you guys what it's like. I don't know if you guys can see that that well on camera, but I really hope it doesn't rain today. All right, guys, so this corner is where we have all these vehicles pulled up. So I'm gonna show you real quick what our workstation is like. It's not the best, but as long as you get the job done, that's what matters, you know? All you want is money and you wanna get the job done. So basically all our equipment is in there. Uh, we pull out our stuff out and we put it right here along that edge. And then whatever car we have to detail, we just pull it up. And then after that, uh, you know, we just keep switching them out. And that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys how we set up. All right guys, so we just line everything up right here. And then the cool thing about this place is that they have electric and water so that way we don't need to bring any of our stuff. We still have it just in case. We have our generator and our water tank, but since we don't have to use any of that, that's a big money saver. So yeah.
right guys so real quick i want to tell you guys a couple things um i don't know if you could tell whenever from that clip you just saw whenever we're detailing detailing we're not actually detailing we're basically just cleaning the car just it's just it's not detailing it's car cleaning uh you know the price is lower so you don't want to spend too much time i'm not going to spend four hours doing these cars i spend maybe an hour and a half uh and it's okay because the dealerships they just want it to look clean so any dirty carpet we see we go ahead shampoo and extract it or seats but if it's not dirty to the point where it needs it we do not do it another thing all the plastics um just go over them really fast you don't have to take your time just remember the dealership just wants it to look clean no dust no nothing just nice and shiny so make sure it's clean and uh the next thing i'm running my note here uh the next thing is the i use a stronger chemical than i usually would so typically i use uh simply green all-purpose cleaner and it's very light um i do dilute it like i don't know two to ten like really light but since i'm doing a really fast cleaning like you saw in the video i go ahead and put a little bit more chemical into my uh solution and uh that way because i'm wiping it off fast so i want the chemical to do its work a little faster so it can uh keep up with me like i was saying so um i use stronger chemicals so it can keep up with me because i'm moving pretty fast and uh another crucial thing is compressed air if you don't have compressed air i really don't suggest you do this because you will be taking a lot of time and it won't be looking that well so uh go ahead and get an air compressor and get like a 35 foot hose and you'll be good all right so my process i mean if you if you're gonna do this i'm pretty sure you already know how to detail and uh what's the quickest way well for me at least to detail a vehicle but if not i will leave my website in the description and i will be putting up my process on a google doc sheet so that way you guys can read it and uh if you want to follow it cool if not it's fine um either way it's going to be up on the website but it usually takes me for like for example for this inside and out it'll take me typically about like two and a half hours three hours with the worker but since we're at the dealership and we're not detailing how we usually do it's going to take me like an hour and a half and i'm gonna finish this truck um but yeah, so I'm going to leave that up on my website so you guys can check it out. And uh, let me show you guys a little bit more of what, what else we have going on today. All right, guys, it's a little cold out there, so I have to come in my car. Um, but let's talk about the legal side of how to do this and how to get it done. Uh, well, at least I'm going to talk about my experience. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open an LLC and... Uh, while you're doing that, also get your EIN number for your business. So once you get those, and by the way, I got mine on, it's called Northwest um, Region, something like that, Northwest something. I don't know, I'll leave the link in the description, but it took about a week to get all my stuff and I paid about, it was like 380 some dollars. I know you can do it for like a hundred bucks, but I just didn't want to deal with all that. So you go on their website, you type in all your information and, uh, they go ahead and take care of that for you and you get an agent so you know you can if you have any questions you go ahead and call them um but yeah you want to go ahead and do that and then once you get your ein number you want to go ahead and go to a bank and set up a business bank account so when you go to the dealership you're going to give them your ein which is just a form they just need the number uh, and that number is going to be associated with your uh, business bank account so that way you can report your taxes and whenever the dealership pays you which will be like weekly because they're hiring you they're not going to pay you daily they're going to pay you weekly or i don't know maybe every two weeks they're going to go ahead and send the money to your business bank account and then if you have employees you're going to pay them out of there and you will also pay yourself out of there so every week you're going to give yourself i don't know 200 300 whatever you want but um it has to stay consistent and then you know 
two, three months later, if you want to up your pay, then you can go ahead and do that. But that's how you do that. And then, uh, of course, with your business bank account, you can, um, like, if you go to fuel up your truck, make sure you use your business bank account and it's a tax, a tax write-off. So when your taxes get done at the end of the year, they're going to subtract that out of there, uh, your fuel, your food, and all that type of stuff. So that way you won't have to pay as many taxes. So, uh, yeah, that's how that works. Um, it took me a while to figure that out. You know, I'm new to all this stuff. So I just want to give you guys as much as information as I can. Um, there's other ways to do it as well. You know, I'm pretty sure if you go on your uh, state's website and you can like print the forms out, fill them out, and then send it to wherever you have to, to get your LLC and stuff. So yeah, but uh, 